justified under the uh, Foreign Intelligence and Surveillance Act, which allows the Americans to uh, compel companies to hand over or produce mechanisms to hand over data about uh, alleged foreign nationals. And PRISM um, provided deep access into Facebook, Google, AOL, Skype and a number of other internet companies. Tempora was an internet buffer that was intercepting every single communication that left the United Kingdom at the point where they hit undersea fibre optic cables. The content, everything that's to say of messages, is kept for around three days um, and then they dump uh, the content and just ret retain the what is called metadata. Now metadata is um, the sort of to, from, uh, the where a communications take, took place, um, the service that was used and so on. If you imagine listening to two people's conversations that you've never heard, what can you, what can you possibly you know, find out just without knowing who they are. Whereas conversely, if you get to look at every single person's communications, you get to find out who their friends are, um, you know, who their family is, um, who they're in a relationship with, who their boss is. GCHQ collect all of this information through Tempora, and then they allow the United States access to it to do whatever they like. We do their dirty work for them, they do ours for us. We swap the information and, and in that way don't have to go through the legal frameworks governing um, surveillance. This is a clear violation of um, Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights um, and our Human Rights Act in the United Kingdom of the right to privacy, but also a free expression freedom of assembly, of assembly and association, and a variety of other rights. NGOs have been spied upon, infiltrated, uh, their mail opened. We know that uh, journalists in the United States have been put under pressure. We know lots of things have gone wrong with the security services. Just because we live in a democratic country doesn't mean that the security services uh, don't bend the rules. fear is that really our privacy rights will disappear, not with a bang but with a whimper. They'll be slowly eroded away and people will become accustomed to these kind of intrusions into their private lives. Government is meant to protect us, not spy on us. Government is there to assist um, people to, to live their lives as, as best they can. And by listening to everyone's conversations, by reading everyone's emails um, and having the ability to find out anything about anyone they want um, with limited oversight means that abuse is almost inevitable. British HQ are very, very clear they do not break the law, um, and I, I do believe them on that actually. The problem is that the law is written in such a broad way that they can basically do anything they like. We need to have a real review of, of what's gone wrong here. Um, we need to have a parliamentary committee scrutinising our surveillance laws uh, to, to see how, how this has been allowed to happen and, and, and how, you know, if there are loopholes, how they can be most effectively closed. I think there is a real lack of discussion. It's all um, based on fairly old acts now that, that really are not fit for purpose. You know, Ripper and even further back are no longer fit for purpose in the new digital age. And there hasn't been any real discussion or update or, or thought given about how we should set the new frameworks. What we need to do is not forget these last few weeks. We cannot forget these revelations and we cannot allow them to be just normalised. Citizens have a huge role by making sure this, this is an issue which is high on the agenda for governments and for MPs. So MPs, for example, will get involved, either because they're intrinsically interested, and there's a few of us like that, that you know, I and others care about it, or because they have a sense that their constituents do care. First thing you should do is write to your MP. Explain that this is not acceptable. Write to your paper and challenge your MP to explain their position to their constituency. Organise a meeting in your constituency to discuss these issues, because people are very upset and they want some way to discuss this and to 
talk about it publicly. Um, join the Open Rights Group, get involved with our network of local groups and help campaign in your local area.